Hello guys, this is Kang. Today I'm gonna introduce few altar run route which I'm currently doing. I made this plan by the efficiency, the maximize the reward by times. So I'm gonna introduce three different routes by different CP. I'll introduce the first one. You go to the wharf and then go to black rock meteorite when you arrive here i'm doing the speed setting first because i'm not gonna ride the camel then you look look at these rocks you the first altar is right behind this hill. So you offer here and then you look at the temple here you go this way the good thing of this run is for only the low CP because this area is for 10,000 CP zone So you offer another one and then you go back where you the first one then you clear some mobs here and then it will respawn very shortly so the first one the pro is is for the low CP and it's very close to these two altar. The con is it's got a little bit of delay if especially if you are high CP because you're killing the mob very quick and offer very quick that's why and another con is as many people already know this route and they're gonna steal your offering so it respawned just on time And then you offer so you keep doing this this is the first round and the second one is a little bit for a little bit high CP I think above the 14.5 K so you go to shady forest oasis this round I'm moving three different altar so you face the oasis and you going back you see the hill over here you need to go over two hills here one you see this so this is the first altar here so the mob is a little bit stronger and it takes a little bit of time to clear 
But the good thing is, no one steal your altar. Not many player coming here. And another good thing is, there is a lot of excavation things around here. So you can do it both at the same time. Then from the first altar, you go over this little hill here. And also, when you see this dragon turtle, turtle dragon, you have you can hunt. Quickly, and second altar here. And third one is facing this way. It's here. I think someone al already clear here. So you move back to the first one. I'm heading this way. So I'm making three a triangle and keep going from one two to two, two to three, and then three to one. So good thing of this second altar run is you don't get bothered from other player because it requires over 14.5k CP and you can also farm those uh, turtle dragon and some excavations. Pawn is mob is little bit stronger so it takes a little bit longer time to clear each altar. And the last one is you gotta go to Talit Oasis. And from the wharf, when you come out, you're turning right. I'll move with Kamo, the first one. Basically, this third one is very efficient with the uh, elephant because this one I'm gonna rotate four different altar okay. so you go over this hill and this is the first one This is also low CP zone, so those CPs like around 12k also can do this. After offer, ride the camel. Hey, where are you going, mate? This fucking camel never come back. You go across these things. 
If you see any ex excavation on your way, you must do it. So this run is basically making square and putting this on the middle. You see the another altar here. You go here. You clear these mobs. Then you can do offering. And you see the turtle, turtle dragon here. You also farm. So we gotta head over this this hill. The good thing of this run is we have a lot of excavation and those high chance you can farm those uh turtle dragon. After offering, we're gonna head to this way. When you move, you walk around if you can see any turtle dragon or excavation things. And this is fourth Altara. gonna head back to this way so now you're going back to the first one you see the oasis here the entry you just get out Over this hill, this will be the first one. If someone clear, you move to the third, second one. That's fine. I think sooner or later there will be update that we can uh, those melee character melee class also can hunt the uh, Kreba because Kreba gives you a lot of Adana coins and it's very good profit so I think at the moment there is some bugs like only the long range um, and certain class can farm So for for this third 
route the pro is is for the low CP and you can also have a lot of chance for those turtle dragons and crabba excavation excavation everywhere and yeah it's easy to farm this one but con is very hard takes time to get used to the route because you need to travel four different altar and also as you guys know this is low CP zone so many people gonna be here like a first run the first altar already cleared should be like that and when you see this violence you also clear because this one is 100% give you the yellow items it will be soon look so you gotta when you do your altar run you have to do excavation and farming those turtle dragon and the violent mob and the crabba these four things is more important than you doing the offering and you can move with your camo but actually i prefer with my speed setting i think this way is even faster than camo Once you get a this red elephant, your reward will be more than double, even you do the same route. So I'll recommend those guys who got a elephant, don't do the first one because the first one you travel only two altar, so you have a lot of extra times. So do either second one or the third one. This is pretty much for today. Today I introduced three different run, the ultra run routes. This information is helpful for you. Please press subscribe and likes and turn on the alarm. Also, if you have any question, please come on my live streaming or leave the comment on the video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on live. Thank you.